America's smallest all-electric truck, Tello MT1. This upstart automaker's narrow-minded approach could actually be a big deal. The Tello MT1 electric minitruck is about as long as a two-door mini hardtop, but it seats five and has a bed that's about the same size as a standard-length crew cab Toyota Tacoma. Co-founder and CEO Jason Marks has a background in automotive active safety and autonomous driving systems engineering. Co-founder and CTO Forrest North developed batteries at pre-Elon Musk Tesla before going on to found electric-centric companies like Mission Motors and PlugShare. That's the kind of brain power Tello needs if it wants to convince Americans to change their perception of what a truck should be, bigger, more powerful, and cooler than any other truck. Tello's goal is to be small and smart while doing it. Every single one of our innovations is about space efficiency, Mark said. Perhaps more than any other EV truck, the MT-1 is shaped by the potential of an electric powertrain. Not having an engine gives engineering flexibility to explore unconventional vehicle categories like this. The MT-1 goes to extremes to maximize utility in minimal space. It's 152 inches long overall, with a 111-inch wheelbase, 73 inches wide, and 66 inches high, with a five-passenger cabin and a 60-inch long bed. The Ford Maverick, often derided for being too small, is nearly 200 inches long, with a 121-inch wheelbase, 78 inches wide, and 69 inches high, and a 54-inch bed. The Rivian R1T is comparatively massive, measuring 217 inches in its lowest drive setting, with a 136-inch wheelbase, 82 inches wide, and 73 inches high. Like the Maverick, the R1TS bed is also 54 inches long. Looking beyond the specs reveals details that illustrate Tello's packaging obsession. The trunk lid is ultra-thin, and there are as few wheel-well inlets as any truck we can remember. A fold-down partition between the trunk and the cab extends the storage length to 8 feet with the trunk lid closed. Instead of one cooling circuit requiring a large radiator, two circuits dedicated to different systems allow several smaller radiators to be distributed around the truck. The Tello borrows from the R1T with its underbed monster tunnel, so-called because it's a monster under the bed. But unlike the Rivian, it's accessible from the trunk, not just from the sides. Interior materials contrast with the minimalist exterior design. The cabin is covered in a geometric patterned fabric that creates a subtle glow in person and is far less of a headache than it is in photos. Elsewhere, Sculpted cork trim and die-cast aluminum contact points contribute to a premium, sustainable impression. The Tello will do well to offer drivers who are looking to put the MT-1 to work an interior option with simple, durable materials that are as stylish as they are. Technology is typical of a new car. The dual instrument cluster screen is about 13 inches, and the unit in front of the driver is covered by a perforated plate, giving the impression of separate gauges. While there are a volume knob and buttons on the steering wheel, basic functions like adjusting the air conditioning direction are controlled via the touchscreen. Unlike some mainstream EVs, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are expected to be standard equipment. In the space we're in, it's clear that the software has to be perfect, CTO North said. Software enables hardware, firmware enables software, we need to focus on both. But for now, the priority is to get the hardware into production since making future code adjustments via over-the-air updates is relatively simple. The Tello is aiming for impressive numbers, up to 350 miles of range, a peak charging speed of 250 kilowatts, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of as little as 4.0 seconds, and 10.0 inches of ground clearance. In terms of trucks, the MT-1 weighs around 4,400 pounds, has a GVWR of over 6,000 pounds, a payload capacity of 1,600 pounds, and can tow 6,600 pounds. Pricing for the MT-1 will start at around $42,000 for the single-motor version and $46,000 for the dual-motor version, with an additional $3,980 fee for the extended-range battery. Tello still has a lot of work to do if it wants to meet its goal of getting MT-1S to customers by 2026.